I welcome you all in episode 81 of Explore Yoga. In today's episode, we will learn about Padam Sarvang Asana. Padma means lotus, Sarv means all, Anga means parts of the body, and Asana means pose. In the practice of this Asana, Padam Asana is assumed in Sarvang Asana. Therefore, it is named Padma Sarvang Asana. This asana should not be practiced by the people who are suffering from a hyperactive thyroid, high blood pressure, lumbar spondylitis, cervical spondylitis, high blood pressure, heart problem and glaucoma. During the pregnancy and menstruation, also a woman is advised not to perform Padam Sarvanga asana. Today, this asana will be demonstrated by our yoga instructor, Sri Rakesh Kumar. Lie flat on the back, keeping the legs straight and arms beside the body with the palms facing downward. Palms facing downward. Join both the heels and toes. Slowly and gently assume Sarvangasana. Now, fold your legs into Padamasana in final pose. Hold this final position as long as is comfortable with normal breaths. Concentrate on the movement of body, breath, shoulders, thyroid gland, in this asana. But after getting perfection, a sadhaka should concentrate on Vishuddhi Chakra. Slowly return to the starting position See our yoga instructor how he is performing this asana very slowly and smoothly. Yes, now lower the leg to the ground and place the heel gently on the ground. Take rest and relax the whole body in Savasana. Functioning of nervous system, glandular system, respiratory system, blood circulatory system and reproductive systems, these all are improved and benefited. Brain is nourished with the enriched blood flow. Thyroid gland, parathyroid gland and abdominal organs are strengthened. Lungs are activated and their oxygen intake capacity improves. Pelvic region gets additional stretch and massage Therefore, all organs of this area are also benefited. Today, we have learned about Padam Sarvangasana. In the next episode, we will learn more new asana. Yoga is an excellent source of physical, mental and spiritual health. Therefore, we should practice yoga regularly to live healthy life. Share this video among others to the maximum to be the part of this noble work. Have a nice day. Thank you very much. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti.